Then approximately four years ago, I started a 501c4, which is Soldiers on the Sound Limited, and I uh, made a committee, and the committee consists of my brother, uh, Roger Smith, Tiffany Richardson, and myself, and uh, we basically structured the organization because it kind of blew up, if you will. All right, it came to, came to a point where we have now uh, a maxed out event where we have 65 captains and boats out there, which are accompanied by mates, and then we also take out 150 active military soldiers out on the uh, water for a day of fishing, give them breakfast, uh, take them fishing all day, provide all their bait. Uh, one of our sponsors, l, &L Wholesale Bait and Tackle, provides all the bait for the fishermen. So basically how the event starts off is we get the 65 boats, soldiers, and mates, and we take them out in front of the uh, Smithtown Bay Yacht Club. And what we'll do there is we'll send off a little pyrotechnic to start the event off. So they'll have 65 boats in the close proximity, and everybody safely takes off and goes to their fishing grounds. They'll fish out there for approximately five hours. Let him free Robbins! Get off! And they'll come in and weigh the fish in, the biggest fish in, at 2.30. All right, hang it up. Baby. Six, six, baby. Okay. Come on, sorry. Good job. Good job. Good job. Done. Nobody else can weigh in. We're online. If you're online. online. Yeah, they're online. Where they will be photographed. The big winner of the uh, event will be photographed. They'll get their prize money, and they'll also get their. Uh, we have a sponsor that donates a huge TV also to the biggest catch. Right, Sarge, coming out right here. He's coming right here. This is Big W. Turn that around. Yeah, there we go. Will the Benedettis is also going to give him a thousand dollars cash for the big win. Anthony Volka stepping up. Hunter Gary, congratulations to the big win. And again, thank you very much to Tom Steinlock, Michael Glamour for their financial donations into the doors that provided the TV for these gentlemen. The raffle now will start going. That's where we'll you'll see the raffles here that are provided. This one's going to be for a basket right now. Oh boy. That's going to go to Robbie McLaughlin from the United States Coast Guard. Robbie McLaughlin, the U.S. Coast Guard. D. Wallace from the United States Air Force. Anyone? I know we had a Derek Wallace here. Coming in, she's coming from the right. Yeah, she is. She gets the night. What do you want? Everybody bike you want. Oh, she's going for the old cool bike. All right. United States Coast Guard, Josh Holloway. That thing is heavy, like a rubber. Tom Bullock, Tom Bullock, Tom Bullock. Barbecue. Billy McNeil. You are the one But he gave the key top away. And I gave the reel away, too. And the reel. Yeah, yeah. When the soldiers come back from fishing, the first things they usually, usually attack is the hot park fire and cooking all the hamburgers that we've gone out and purchased there. We'll have everybody cooking. It just turns into a big barbecue, I guess you'd call it. My mother supplies uh, the majority of the food. It's cooked by my brother over in Rule and Road Deli. And uh, we also get stuff from uh, Panico's community uh, market, and he provides a lot of food for us. So we have just lots of people that are giving. And again, Soldiers on the Sound is 100% donation. So whatever comes into Soldiers on the Sound, it goes right back out to the soldiers. That's what's most important to me about the event. Nobody here takes a salary. We're 100% volunteer. And uh, the committee members are, uh, you know, just phenomenal. They're all very task-oriented people, and we get the job done every year. The event goes off smoothly. We get assistance from the town with uh, putting extra boats in the water. They accommodate us great every time and that happens. So it's a very well-oiled machine. All the, everybody involved is very good and uh, the event goes off, I'm gonna knock on wood here, flawlessly every year. And the uh, soldiers seem to, I mean, I know they love it. You, just, you can see right here from all the faces here that all these guys and girls are enjoying themselves and smiling for probably at least that day. It's beyond awesome and the time, the dedication, uh, that they put in to show us that they appreciate us, it's, I, I'm actually at a loss of words. Well, this is a, a outstanding as far as for taking care of the, uh, the, vet, the uh, soldiers. We love it. Honored, humbled to be here. Uh, 
second to none, the generosity is uh, unheard of. Thank you so much. I think it's great. I think Mark does a great job. This is my third year doing it. It's truly a great time. I love it. They, they, like I said, every year they do a great job. It's a great uh, organization they do for us, and we really appreciate it. Great day out. Uh, everybody has fun. Appreciate the support. Really, really fun day. What's nice about it, the soldiers don't have to bring anything. They have to bring no money. It's it's a 100% free event for them. That was how it got really weird in the beginning of the year. Uh, when I first started off, I invited the uh, soldiers. Uh, I have the liaisons in the Air Force in the 106th. And, when I asked them if they had soldiers that they wanted to come, they was, they was like, well, what's the catch? What's, what do you want out of this? And, and it was just took a while for just to, to understand that this is nothing about us. There's nothing that we want. It's just that we want to take care and say thank you to our soldiers. What I pictured soldiers on the sound to be was captured in the photograph from one of the first events. It was a picture of an airman fishing. He was standing in the center, center console with his foot up on the gunnel, cigar in his mouth, and he had a fishing rod in his hand. He was actively fishing. And it basically captured everything. It kind of, you could just see that he was completely at ease. He was not thinking about anything but just the moment and, and catching fish with, with these new friends that he met. I showed the committee, I go, this is exactly what I want this to be. And that's exactly what it's, it's become. Well, Soldiers on the Sound obviously cannot be possible without the committee and the help that I get from all the pink ladies over here. The pink ladies, again, I call them the backbone of Soldiers on the Sound. Myself and all the other captains and mates, we have the opportunity to go out there and go fishing. They serve us, the pink ladies will put out a huge spread of breakfast. We go out fishing, and when we get back, the pink ladies have uh, metamorphosized this place into a, a, basically a huge event. All right, they do all the work, they do all the uh, behind the scenes work, they don't get any recognition. I think they deserve all the recognition in the world, the pink ladies. And that's uh, the pink ladies are run by Tiffany Richardson and Barbara Richardson. Uh, my wife, Michelle, is a huge help. Lou DeBenedettis is. Uh, He's a huge help. He's from Bennett Fuel, the platinum sponsor. They donate a lot of money, and they also do a lot of work to make this event happen. Also, the Commodore of Smithtown Bay Yakov is Mike Kazursky, and he's a huge help, too. He's part of the committee, and he makes everything run smoothly between Soldiers on the Sound and Smithtown Bay Yakov, and that's where the event is being held right now. I, th I think it's important to have this for the vets for just a mere reason, to show that there is support out there. It's tough to see when you watch TV that there isn't support, but truly, there's a tremendous amount of support for our military, and it's important for me, at least, to bring that out there and say, we support the military, all these people support the military, and this is just our way of saying, hey, guys, we, guys and girls, we are with you, we support you, whatever you do, all right? They take the sacrifice to go out there and fight for our country. It gives us the ability to do what we do right now. We get to go out there, we go fishing, we go shopping at the mall because of that. There's so much friendship and so much electricity at this event. That's, what, that's my favorite part of it. It's a beast to run it. But when you get to the event and when the, when the event is in full swing, you see the electricity between the military and the civilians and the, and the captains and the mates and all the helpers. That's what this whole thing's about. That's what Soldiers on the Sound about, is about. And uh, that's, that's why I do it. So anybody that's watching that like to help and donate to Soldiers on the Sound uh, Limited, you can just go to our website at www.soldiersonthesound.com and you can go to PayPal on top of it and you can donate that way or you can also just uh, use the P.O. box on the website and mail a, a donation to that P.O. box. We appreciate any donations that we get. Again, this is all 100% in, 100% out, so there's no salaries taken here, so you can rest assured that uh, your money goes to the cause.